Hello everyone. By now you're well aware of the Shellshock vulnerability. As we all work hard to investigate potential attacks, we here at Sumologic wanted to give you some advice on how best to use our product to expedite the process. But first, we want to assure you, Sumologic has worked hard to ensure that our entire service was not and is not vulnerable to Shellshock. In a blog post yesterday, Joan told us about how LogReduce can quickly identify attempted attacks. Let's look at how to use the product to do just that. To show you how, we're going to run through some fake data that simulates what shell shock requests might look like. Searching across all of our data for the now well-known string, which looks like this, over the last three hours, we're going to see that we have some Apache servers that have been receiving requests that may exploit the vulnerability of an unpatched system. Going back a few hours, it's possible you may see hundreds or thousands of these, many of which could be from well-meaning security teams that are looking for vulnerable systems in order to inform the owners. However, the real issue may lie in a single request from a malicious user requesting more than just a simple ping. Let's use LogReduce to turn this large stream of messages into a set of summaries. Here I can see that most of the messages are just pinging some server, but this one message is different. Let's look at the details by clicking on the count. We can see that this particular request appears to be attempting to download a potentially malicious file to the server, and this may be worth investigating further. It's incredibly important to note that you and your team must use every tool available to you to ensure that your systems are protected, even if you don't see data related to this vulnerability in your logs. However, LogReduce can quickly help you find suspicious requests so you can inspect potential attacks on your systems.